Miss Gail, right? Yeah. And Miss Jane. Uh, Miss Jane. But y'all aren't Landry's anymore. Are you still in Landry? No. Okay. Miss, when were you born? You were born in this house. 1936. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't want to get too crazy, oh, but that's you should be proud of that. Yeah. I don't know if they had a doctor or a midwife. I, I have no know. idea about that. But yeah, I was uh, my sister's a year was a year older than me, and she was born here, and then I was a year later. And we lived. That must have been when he decided to build a house. Okay. So. He had that house built over there. And by golly, it cost me $1,200 to build that house. That's just too much money. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, three bedroom, one bath, big, huge house. And um, about how old were you when you moved into that house? About two. About two years old. Well, I guess, you know, that. Are early. you the baby in the picture on the no. balcony? No. No. Okay. Because you said uh, that was picture. my older sister. Older that sister? Room. That is so cool. Was the, do you remember if the balcony was cement always or if it was wood back in the day? Did you, did you get splinters? Do you remember anything about that? All I know is from the pictures. Just the seen. pictures you don't remember. Yeah. I don't. I was too young to remember. Okay. They made us a map of basically how the store, it's like a general store, mercantile store. They had everything food, hardware, all. All kinds of stuff nails nails there was paint this big round thing sat at the back with all kinds of, with bins with nails in it every year at the end of the year we had to count all that oh we had to do inventory yeah. That's the so if you look at that cabinet there it's an old mercantile cabinet that you bought in an antique store that's cool. the base of it and it's like a, it's coming back. Yeah. Like we're, I mean, it's not the one that was here. Right. We're, we're putting a mercantile cabinet back in. It's going to be my pantry. Oh, well, so that's going to be so cool. That's the kind of stuff <laughs> I love. Yeah. That kind of thing. And um, so I wanted to ask them. They said there was freezers here. Yeah. Well, did the ice man bring ice, or did they already have electricity for freezers? Had electricity. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, I remember because it was a whole. Yeah, what I said. Refrigerator mm -hmm. like like a deli cabinet. Wow. Over here. Oh, okay. Oh, right. an ice cream I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, what year do you think that was? It was there all my life. Okay. okay. So, uh, so crazy. and then the, this one I always call it the deli because, you know, they had, they didn't sell lunch meat in packages. Okay. He would have these big loaves of lunch meats, salami and mm -hmm. whatever, and he'd slice them for people. Wanted to buy them and fresh chickens, not frozen chickens. Oh, wow. and milk, cold drinks in that section. Okay. The freezer had the frozen chickens and frozen whatever. Wow. In the back room. He played dice. He played he, dice. He said he couldn't. He couldn't remember cards. So he played dice. He just bet on the outcome. He right. came home that night with fifteen hundred dollars. Of course, we're talking the fortune. That's a lot. That's a fortune. That was my mama threw a fit. She said, "You could have lost a store. You could have lost a house. You <laughs> promise me you won't ever do that again." Oh my goodness! People, the shrimpers coming in, oh, ready yeah. to gamble. They were coming in across the street and walking across. Correct. But he did all that shrimping and they would come to lose it yeah. I, and my daddy would deliver groceries to the shrimp boats oh because they'd be gone two weeks yeah and so he he delivered a lot of groceries to the shrimp boats but there was another shrimp dock down this way and there was a couple more yeah. down this way right so. that is so crazy that is exciting so she also shared with us that where all the windows are in the front there was like, you see in New Orleans, there was a, I guess, a counter where you would display all your stuff for the passerbys to see and I guess entice them to come shop. Yeah, <laughs> that would yeah. be great. Um, if they saw it in the window, they might come in. That's me, I'm not just the best way to do it. So, and she remembers that all of these walls that we've talked about before, well, I don't know, I talk about it to everybody, but probably not on video, but there were no center walls. These columns right here, I talked about how the house is built on the columns that column and Greg you can't see it from the kitchen side you got to go to the other side the columns you got to come around this way the, um, oh, this uh, wall did not exist yeah so this column would have been by itself no wall here and then all the way through here we're doing plumbing guys so you see the other column right there 
and that we don't look right. I think I so downstairs, we're going to live upstairs. And we have learned to live small, and we do a lot of missionary support. We have a lot of friends. We have a foundation that we send money to disaster relief. We support missionaries like in Africa. And all this, all, everyone that's they're spreading the gospel, we're trying to ask God. Um, a lot of the um, pregnancy crisis centers, and then there's some teen challenge people that help people that are addicted to drugs. So down here, since we have a lot of people in ministry, we want to use this as it's going to be a two-bedroom, two-bath place mm -hmm. where people who are in ministry can come stay. Awesome. A lot of our missionary friends live in other countries, mm -hmm. and they have to come back to the States to furlough, which where they come to raise funds, saying, right, he'd be here six months or a year, um, for whatever reason, and they're staying with family, sleeping mm -hmm. on couches, beds, out of suitcases, and they just never have the opportunity to be. Right. And on, on Sundays, they're raising money going to different churches. You know, they're just never alone with just their family. So we want to invite them to come and stay here for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever you need just to be. Love your family. A lot of them, we know, have friends and family in Homa, Thibodeau, um, Lafayette area. So they can stay with Mama for the most part, but just have some breaks. Right. Like, can watch TV in their underwear. I mean, missionaries do that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and not have to always have people around them. I kind of have that, that old movie, you know, Field of Dreams, if you build it, they'll come. Right. Okay, well, I feel like if we build it, they'll come. We have a really good missionary organization called Matthew 25 International in Patterson that sends missionaries and people to help in Haiti to use an oil field technology to make water wells. Is that amazing? That is. And then they also have like a children's home in Peru, and they're constantly sending supplies down. So they have people coming in, churches all over the place that stay and help load trailers. We're hoping to have a place for them to stay. Right now, they stay sleeping on like cots and stuff. So right. We're hoping God will use it for his glory. That's our plan. Um, we're really excited about that. So that's what the downstairs is going to be. In this room right here, we needed to add another bathroom. And then this is going to be a bedroom area. I'm going to make this private. <laughs> so this will be a bedroom and a bathroom down here. So we're going to keep this. The people who had it before us, this was their living room. The spiral staircases on both sides are not like dueling they end up going with the wind spiral staircases. <laughs> That's what they make me think of. Um, they were here because in one incarnation, it was a duplex, and they had it divided down the center all the way. Gotcha. And this was one brother's side, and he owned all of this, so he had his way up, and the other brother owned the other side. That was the LaSalle family, and he had his staircase up. Gotcha. And, yeah, so it was kind of laid out a little different. And then they both had access to the balcony upstairs. But, um, from downstairs to these back stairs from inside the house. Yeah, there was, was, there was a doorway because um, this part was solid wall. Yeah, we're putting it back solid wall. And it had shelves here, and that's where all the paintings Yeah, look here. Okay, I'm reading it because you're telling me, so when I go back, I can see it. So yeah, this, this was a room. I think that's this room right here. The, uh, a room, and then the stairs. I got it backwards. So this was probably that room yeah, right there, right. and then the stairs. The, the stairs were right there. Because we're trying to follow, like, that's old construction. You see that brown beam? Right. So that would have been, and this is old, you yeah. know, holding up the house kind of beam. And that's, if that's where your big beam splits. It's a big Y right there in the ceiling. If you come on this side, you can see. We are trying to do, with, like, archaeology when we're looking at it. Right. We're like, okay, that beam right there, this is the third one that would have been exposed. And then... It splits and all the weight comes here on these. And that these are sense. nice. We like all the old cypress. Yeah. Yes. But these, I had my workers with sanders and they sanded. That was, see how this is black, but not, like they, that beam had stripes on it and they sanded it down to the wrong wood. We're just going to clear coat it because it's so pretty. It's beautiful. It is so pretty. But look, here's your fireplace. Oh, that's gorgeous. So they painted it and then they got that fireplace to cover mantle from New Orleans. And we're going to paint it out more, more old looking. I'm not, I don't know if I can strip it down to where I would. I'd like to. Um, but the brick is kind of crumbly. So we were told, um, we scared that there were four fireplaces in here upstairs. And we can find where they were. Like, we can see the base of that going up. Mm -hmm. This is one, too. Do you remember this? So this is Ridgeville. This is not a fireplace downstairs, but it was a fireplace upstairs. And this is the original tin that hid the brick. So oh, this, yeah. so we're saving it because this is intact. So this we're going to repaint it. We're going to seal it. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it. The toilet's going to sit in front of it. But who cares about that? That's going to be cute. Um, the few, we're moving the whole electrical box 
just to save this. <laughs> <laughs> it has to move over like three feet away from it. And then this is gonna be done nice. Um, I need this vent pipe, but I watched a YouTube video last night on how to make this look like aged copper. <laughs> so we, oh. we're gonna go paint that floppy picture right there yeah, and make it look pretty. Um, but so people just put in, this is a decorator thing, but I think it's interesting too. So this is brand new and this mm. is expensive. It's not really period correct for, you know, it's kind of modern-ish, but I am picking it out. They put, do you see this cute little tile? And it's got a little turquoise yeah. in, in there. So I ordered this old school looking turquoise vanity. We took the floors out and I have some painted floor that's got a design in it with the little turquoise and the gray colors. And it's gonna look oldish. Mm -hmm. Like we think the little shutters kind of look on the doors, make it look like maybe yes. someone built it. They painted things pretty colors back in the day, huh? Yeah. They didn't and do just white, right. you know, everything had nice stuff. So we're excited about that. The red is going to go away. <laughs> it's clashing a little bit. And they have taken fridge doors because this was actually all open for the original master suite. This was the master bathroom. You can't have a hallway with French doors and people looking at you potty and No. <laughs> so we're going to put the doorway more like right here and have it be a proper closed door. So, and then I have this cute little corner cabinet. It's going to go in the corner right there. I That's love the little corner cabinets. Yes. I think, yeah. And then do you remember back here, Miss Gail, we're noticing that there was a transom and then there was two doors. Oh. Were they glass? I don't know if they were half class. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. But of course, we have plenty of pictures of the back of this thing. There was a typical um, screen doors, too, for summertime mosquitoes. We need some old screen doors, Chris. That's a really good idea. There were wooden doors, but there was the screen doors for during the summer. You open up all the doors and let the air. And there was no air conditioning. There was no air conditioning. He had. Your sign door is gone. It's in the room. It's on the oh, other room. Yeah, yeah, they match. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. If, remember if he had ceiling fans? Probably. We oh. have belt driven ceiling fans. We ordered to make it look oh, old. Oh, cool. Yes, yeah. ma'am. We're gonna have two of them on the uh, living room side. So in the center will be a, a cute chandelier, and then on each end of the ceiling there's gonna be. Double belt driven. You know what I'm talking about? It's like the old ones that are close and they have a hub and the belt makes the circle. Yeah. So there's going to be two at the by the windows and then two in the back. And then upstairs in our, our we're going to live upstairs in our living room. We're going to have two belt. It's actually four fans, but they're hooked together with one, you know, two and two. Mm -hmm. We have been wanting those for years for different projects. We see them in New Orleans all the time. Like we yeah. love New Orleans. We have a condo. I do too. We have a condo on Magazine Street in New Orleans. It's upstairs. Oh. It has a balcony. That's always been a dream. We love balconies. We sit on it all the time. Always said if I had a place in New Orleans, it would be in the French Quarter. Up over, you know, mm -hmm. with the balcony and everything. Well, if you could go upstairs, ours is on Magazine Street. It's much quieter than the quarter. Um, <laughs> I would make you take her to go spend the night because, but this, it's once again, we have 14 foot ceilings downstairs, the unit below us. It's a little curving tight up the stair thing. If you could ever get up those stairs, I'd have you go stay and sit on my balcony. So we, oh, the reason God. we love Mission so much. But here, you will not have to worry about going up the stairs. No, no, if you come stay here, once it's done, you have to come spend the night. Um, and hang out and just see what it's uh -huh. like. That, you want to uh, say why? Huh? You want to say why? You won't have to worry about going upstairs. Right, we're putting an elevator in. I didn't get that. I was, yeah, <laughs> we're putting an elevator in right here. Okay. So, and so we're we're gonna leave this part all open. This will be part of downstairs because they need to access that bedroom and this bathroom. And then right here is where we're gonna put the doorway that kind of separates our living space from the place that we're gonna share with people. But when we walk, and so we'll park in the back, there's parking back there. We'll come in right here, and then this would be where the elevator is. And I'm putting my groceries in it, and I'm going to send my groceries up <laughs> until I get where I have to ride in it. Right. Because if I start riding in it now, I'll have to ride in it sooner than later. True. So I'm walking up the stairs, and um, but so then it'll go up. I'm so... Yeah, it's a 1930 or something. It's a 1938 Shepherd Elevator. This man in, Can Can it's not Kansas City. I keep seeing Kansas City. It's Hutchinson, Kansas. He collects old elevators. And he's restoring, he restores them, and he's going to come put it in for us. 
We're so excited. So this is something that we changed that you can look at. So when we, when, and it seemed to be original, that landing right there was super low. Like when you went up the stairs, yeah. you could touch it. Yeah. It was really, really low. We still don't know what the thought process in 19... 19- 06 was about that, and that's Mr. Jean Paul was really short. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't grow as tall as we did. I don't know. And so, because you couldn't bring an on wall or anything up there for bedrooms because it was it was short. And so we took it all out, and we it goes up all the way. Which when we did that, there was a closet. Do you remember the closet at, up yeah. there? Uh-huh. It had still had all the tin in it. So my Frank, my sheetrock people, and my husband and I were figuring out how we can frame up that little section of the tin. You can see the white. That's tin. Oh, okay. So, right. So we're going to do that now. This window on the platform right here, Miss Gail, we're going to put a piece of stained glass there. Did y'all have anything cute there? Or was it just a funky little window? Like just that? a funky little. Window. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make it cute. And it yeah. probably didn't go off in the home either. And that one's super tiny, but we exposed the big, huge piece of cypress beam header above it. Do you see how the brown? Oh yeah. yeah. So we're going to try to sand that down really good so that we can see that we like the wood. Mm-hmm. We like the wood. We like the structure. Um, it's just amazing to us, the craftsmanship. Yeah. Now, the problem we're having is that everyone, when they started putting AC and electrical, when they went in, that's why we can't expose the ceilings because they've just cut everything up uh, in there, cut holes. No thought of yeah, preserving they really, anything. We really didn't really care too much about that. And we thought about, we're going to try to redo all of this because this section right here before the door is going to be the proper height. And we we think once well it depends on if how much of the tin we use to fix the living room area because everyone's going to see that that's mm-hmm. public space and so I'm super excited that that beam will be proper the area by the windows will be original and that's our focus now if we can find enough tin cornices to come in and put the tin cornice back in here and even it would be lovely if we could tin the wall he also had some petitions. And other businesses, mm-hmm. I don't know what. Right. I, I, I wasn't living here then. Okay. Living away someplace. So. Do you remember in the information we have? They said that there was actually a kitchen in the back back here. Do you remember any buildings back here? There was a little shed. A little shed. Did they yeah. had a cistern in one picture? Did y'all still have a oh, cistern? Oh yeah. Yeah, a great big cistern. Yeah. There. Yeah, I have pictures of me in front of it. My mm-hmm. sisters in front of it. Yeah. And that's, that right collected there. the water, right? My daddy refused to put town water because it wasn't any good. He <laughs> used natural water. But, oh, that's but so he finally cool. had to give up. Finally had to, because it was rotten. It oh. was beginning to get bad. Yeah. So, and during dry spells, you, it was like, you put water in the bathtub and there'd be a little bit of dirt or something <laughs> because the water level had gotten so low yeah. but uh, yeah we had just natural water all those years that is so funny yeah yeah and the city put in city water and that, that wasn't any good but you know you don't use that <laughs> my dad was real funny about stuff but that's so cool so this was all yarn then when yeah. you were here mm-hmm. yeah there was a big pine tree oh. right here uh-huh. there was that shed Right, they're just small. Right. Um, I think it could have been when they lived here. They could have been the man. I don't know. I okay. think it's fact. Um, but um, yeah, that little shed was there. We'd play out here, or if they wanted to boil crabs or crawfish, yeah. it was always out here. That's so cool. Yeah. 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 yeah well, we're having fun. We're gonna try to find the double doors and put them back fix the transom right here, put it back, um, and make it like it was as much as we can. And finding the, or trying to find stuff that's original looking, yeah. gives us so much pleasure, it's so fun. Like, I'm so excited that you gave me this map, and like, I realized this really was like an old mercantile, and I have right. this fascination with mercantile cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, now you have just, you can justify. I justify everything. Yep. Did you see the two closet tubs under those boxes in the front? Oh, man. I'll have to show them to you. Yeah. So I'm like, I yeah, need. this bathroom upstairs had a closet tub in yeah. it. See? 
I'm having one too. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> and in one of the newspaper articles, it said that Mr. Jean Fall had the first pool chain toilet with the that's, top. That's what she was telling me. Do you I don't remember. remember yeah. Of course. So like I said, the, kids don't notice all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you need one. I had justified one and now I'm like, I think I one upstairs and one downstairs. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm just excited about it and having this map. Um, like I said, of course, it's more compact than what this. It wasn't we only, this much space. You, know. right, you only had this little piece of paper. <laughs> we needed like two. Oh, well, the first one I drew was like about this big. Oh. And I thought, no, nah, that's not going to work. So I got a ruler and I said, you got to go with the full page. I wish so. you could see my, uh, I use graph paper and it's like, we're like kindred spirits. Cause I have my graph paper mm. out with all my drawings on it. And right. I have my ruler out and I make yeah. things straight. And that's like so funny. So I'm living here yeah, and this, you live here. This was really curved pretty well mm -hmm. around here. Wasn't that straight? It was, you know, it came around. He always called it his curved cabinet door whatever but that was a big had, deal it it stood about counter high and there was a shelf mm -hmm. and there was the shelf all the way around both sides so he could put this oh, place yeah out. that's and amazing yeah i'm but excited that was a gambling counter <laughs>